Hey, what's up guys? It's Frank Limanov here and in this video today, I'll be taking you guys through a step-by-step -step process on how to create your own Payoneer account. Yeah, I actually get to be wondering what Payoneer is, right? So if you're actually just hearing about Payoneer for the first time, it's okay and cool for you to know that Payoneer is a payment system that you can use to accept payments worldwide, right? So whether you're an affiliate marketer or you're a freelancer, or you basically work online, right? And you're looking for the best way to accept payments you know um to your account and also receive those payments locally then pioneer can actually be your answer right so one other alternative i get to see people get to use is paypal and and if you're nigerian you must have actually gone through the you know process of trying to create a paypal account and it's been quite tough i actually did a video on how to set up a paypal account if you're in nigeria here yeah, you can go ahead and check it out but then it's still quite confusing and a little bit tough for you to get funds on paypal and then transfer it to your local bank account in nigeria right and that is why i'm bringing up this option you creating a pioneer account and also being able to assess your funds and transfer it down to your local bank account in nigeria in ghana or whatever part of the world where you are in right yeah so um quickly i'll be walking you guys through this step-by-step -step process right because you know it's one thing to go ahead and learn affiliate marketing to learn to be a freelancer work from different online platforms right but it's another thing for you to be able to receive those payments you've made down to your local account right so that's actually the most important thing basically and that is why i'm sharing this video today guys so i'll be walking you guys through the step-by-step -step process and i'm showing you all you need to know all you actually need to click here and there to get started and i promise that if you follow me throughout this video today you won't leave here the same way you came guys all right so um let me jump straight into showing you guys you know how to get started right so in order to sign up for your pna account the first thing you need to do is to sign up and when signing up i'm gonna leave a link for you guys in the description below so that you use the link to sign up and this happens when you actually use that link to sign up you're gonna be getting a 25 dollar bonus right like what you can see on the screen here so um quickly let me use that link currently i'm gonna use the link franklymanu.com slash pioneer right so once you put in that link into your browser and you go ahead and you you know load up that link right the first thing that you're actually greeted by is you coming up to this page that it says get paid by marketplaces and direct clients worldwide right quick low cost and secure solutions to pay and get paid globally sign up and you earn 25 dollars right so the thing is if you do not use this link that i've actually dropped for you guys down below then you won't get this 25 dollar bonus right you won't get the 25 dollar bonus so make sure you go ahead and use that link so that you'll be able to get this 25 dollar bonus for yourself right so once you're on this page currently the next thing you just need to do you can really go ahead and scroll down and read up the benefits of using pioneer and also you know um all and how the system works right but then basically i can go ahead and click on the sign up button so i click on the sign up button now so once i click on the sign up button it opens up this page here for me and i just get to answer these few questions right so i'll say i'm an affiliate marketer and i'm looking to you know get paid right so once you've actually answered those questions it brings up this other page where you get to click on register right so you can see you can get paid from different affiliate networks and you know different channels online so it brings you up to this page where you can go ahead and start filling in your details right so um it really starts by asking you select your type of business individual or company i'll just go ahead and select individual so in this video i'm actually trying to create an account for a friend right so i'll be using my friend's details to you know fill in and create this full account so it says first name last name email address re-enter the email address and the date of birth right so i'm gonna fill in all of these details here right so let me do that quickly So I'll go to the next page and coming up to the next page now, this is where you get to fill your contact details, right? So you get to fill your country, your address line one, the city and also the postal code. And from there you move on to filling in your phone number, right? And also the verification code that will be sent to your phone number, right? So quickly, let me go ahead and I fill in those details currently now and we can go ahead to the next page.
All right, I've just requested for the um, verification code to be sent to the phone number I inserted here in Pioneer, right? So in the next 30 seconds, I'll just wait, hold on, and the code will be sent to me. And all I need to do is just insert that code into this particular slot here, right? So I'm going to do that quietly now since I've gotten the verification code right now. So once I've done that, I can go ahead and click on next. So yes, I've been verified and it is taking me over to the next page here. And in this other page, all I have to do right now is to go ahead and enter my password. So you can see this is more like the section for security details, right? So I enter my password and enter my um, national ID number and also the um, verification code that is at the, the bottom of this particular page, right? So I'll go ahead and fill in these details right now. Yeah, so once I've inserted that, I can go ahead and, you know, um, insert my national ID number. Right, so for the national ID number, there are actually different options here, right? So you can actually go ahead and choose your driver license or also your passport. So whichever one you have, right? If currently you're opening this account now, as at this point of making this video, you can use your um, the number in your NIMC slip, right? That has been given to you or you can use, or you can use the number on your driver's license or also the one on your passport. So I'm gonna use the one on the national ID card right now to fill in this, right? So um, let me do that quickly. So once I've done that, all I need to do next here is to insert the code, right? So let me go ahead and insert this code. And this is the code we are looking out for. We are inserting this code that has actually been placed here for us into this particular space, right? So I would say it's ZK, Oh, in capital letters, ZKUZ9, right? So once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and hit next. Okay, it says, please fill in a valid password, right? So, okay, let me go ahead and use another password. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. And I also fill in the security code. So I would say it's 4QSTQ, yeah. So I'll go to next now and let's see. All right, so it has taken me over to the next page. And in this next page now, you can see it says I'm almost done, right? So I'll need to provide your, it said, please provide your bank details. This will let you receive funds to your bank account, right? You will later have the options to order a payoneer card if eligible. All right, so at this particular um, page here, you are going to be provi providing your bank details to payoneer. So like I actually said earlier, you can actually use Payoneer to receive international payments and you know take it down to your local bank account, right? And whatever bank account you're going to place in here is what you will use to receive your Payoneer funds. So once somebody sends you any um, funds into your Payoneer account and you want to withdraw from Payoneer to your local bank account, this account you're going to be putting in here is the first account that you can use to receive funds. At the same time, you can also go ahead and put in some other um, accounts right you can put in some other account details but you can just put in one for now and add up others later right so let me go ahead and okay click here for okay just go ahead and select a bank account in nigeria right so let me say gt bank all right okay um guaranteed trust bank is a bank in nigeria and for the account holder and then the account number, usually 10 digits. Okay, so once I'm done with inputting the account number into this particular section, the next thing I just have to do is check the boxes that are left here, right? So um, I check these two boxes and then I can go ahead and submit this particular um, details I've inputted in here. Yeah, so clicking on this particular submit button, you can see that it brings up to this page where it says congratulations, your Payoneer account has been submitted successfully and is now being reviewed. 
right? You are in step two of the application process, right? So this is basically the review process, right? And in this particular um, section here, you'll be getting an email confirmation within the next several business days once your application has been accepted and reviewed. So coming back to the Pioneer homepage here, you can basically go ahead and try to sign in, right? So let's try and sign in to um, the account now and see, you know, um, if we'll be able to gain access to enter immediately. Yeah, so um, once you've actually put in this, it's also going to send you a verification code to your phone number, right? So, okay, it's asking me to turn it on, of which I've already done now. Right, and they would send you a code to that phone number you've just imputed. Right, so this is actually a cool verification process because you know, um, just to add another security layer for you, right, so that you know, um, it's not just so easy to gain access to your um, Pioneer account, right, because there's money inside of here, man. So I'll quickly impute the next code that's been sent to me and click on submit, right. All right, so um, once you've actually done with signing up and done the review process, it will bring us up to this page where you would have to update your account information, right? So there is another security question two and security question three for you, right? So, okay, um, it says, what's the first name of your grandmother? What address did you live in your, outside your parents' home? I would say... Um, Yeah, and then another security question I'll answer here. What was the first foreign country you um, visited? Or what high school did your spouse attend? All right, so you, all you just need to do here is to pick up a, a, um, a question, right? So I'll pick up this and answer just to add more layers of security on your Pioneer account, right? So once you're done with answering this question, you go back to the next step. And here, you are actually signed in to your full Pioneer account, right? So let's just hold on as it loads up here. And you can see, guys, this is it. We are fully done or gone through the step-by-step -step process on creating your Pioneer account, right? So it says here you have information to submit in the verification center, right? So let me click and see what this is, if it's something we can do right away, right? Okay, account verification. Okay, so um, here it's actually gonna be asking you to submit your address verification and your government issued photo ID, right? So um, let me quickly go ahead and click on this right down, address verification. And for this particular spot here, all you need to do is just to, you know, um, enter your utility bill renter's name or your bank documents or whichever um, document you have here and you can go ahead and upload the file right so once you do that it will take a few days for them to go ahead and you know process the document you um, submitted up there and your account is verified so aside this address verification you can also go ahead and do government issued photo id Right, so um, this is actually for you if you have a passport, you can go ahead and choose your nationality and then upload your passport, right? Or going over to the third one, here it says another government issued photo ID, right? You can also upload your passport at this particular section, right? So um, what this is actually going to help you do is just to keep, to make sure your account is verified. Remember that Pioneer is actually a payment system, so you'll be receiving money from different international bodies, right, into this particular account. So it's actually quite okay that they verify who you are and make sure that you're actually not scamming the system or doing anything fraudulent before you go ahead and proceed with you know, receiving your payments and also um, um, withdrawing payments from Pioneer account, right? So um, aside this, coming up at this top layer here, you can see there are actually different options on the menu here, right? So I'm going to be walking you guys through all of this step by step so you get to see. So aside the home button which is here, right you can go ahead and see your activity and activity here is actually going to be showing you an overview of everything that you have been doing in your um, pioneer account 
So this is more of like a new account, so you won't be seeing much of activities. So from here, you can see your transaction done. You can manage currencies. Payoneer actually gets to pay you from different, you know, um, you can receive your Payoneer fund in different currencies. You can receive in your pounds, you can receive in dollars, you can receive in euros. You can receive in yen, you can receive in various currencies that you've set up your Pioneer account to be. But then the cool thing about this is you also get a personal account for yourself. So you're getting a personal account in the US, you're getting a personal account in the UK, you're getting a personal account in different countries around the world, right? From you just sitting down on your laptop screen right in your house, right? So that is one thing about Pioneer. So going over to the next, which is receive. So I'll click on mass payout companies here. So this particular section comes up when you want to receive payments from you know um, other sources and you're looking to use your Pioneer account to do that, right? So you can quickly go ahead and you see the step-by-step -step process on how to get this done, right? So the next thing you can do is also to pay. So coming over to this section here, settings, so I'll click on bank accounts. So guys, clicking on bank accounts here, you can actually see the bank accounts you have for withdrawals, right? You can see the bank accounts you have for withdrawals. So this one is the first one we actually imputed here. While we're signing up, you can go ahead and impute your dollar account or different bank accounts that, you know, you do want to receive your funds from in your Pioneer account. All right, guys. So once you've actually come up to this point, this is actually what you're going to be getting on the very first day you actually sign up your Pioneer account, right? So um, what is going to happen is, you know, the next... So the next step for you is to go ahead and you create you know, different bank accounts in different locations in the world. So you can be able to receive your payouts in different currencies, right? So um, this will actually be only made possible when our Pioneer account has been fully verified, right? So this is the first video. I'm gonna make the second video showing you guys, you know, um, after verification, what happens and how to set up your accounts for global payment, right? So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you find this video very useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to this channel remember i'm actually going to be dropping those links for you guys in the description below so that you can use those links to sign up for your premium account and you get some five dollar bonus right in the second video i'm actually going to be showing you after the pioneer account has been verified how to set up global payments with your pioneer account and receive funds in different currencies into your pioneer account and take it down to your local bank account right so thanks so much guys for staying all through this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.